Hi, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are looking at another fundamental flaw of a piston engine. Now, I must um, make it clear that this is piston engines. We will get to rotary engines and other types of engines, um, because some of these fundamental issues are actually cured, uh, especially with a Wankel engine. Um, but the, the second uh, fundamental flaw we want to look at is pistons themselves. So the problem with pistons is all about energy loss. So the problem with a piston is all about energy conservation, or lack of it in this case. So you have a piston, and a piston weighs something, you know, it has mass. And to accelerate a mass, which is all to do with Newtonian physics and what have you, um, you have to apply a force to it. So with a piston, the piston travels to the top of the cylinder, it's two stroke or four stroke, it doesn't matter. You ignite your fuel air mixture and a pressure is applied to the surface area of the top of the piston. Now a lot of that energy is used, I say a lot of it, some of the energy is used to accelerate the piston down. The problem is, is that when the piston gets to the bottom of its stroke, because of its restraint from the conrod, um, and the crankshaft as an assembly, the piston then has to come to a stop. So all that energy that was used to accelerate the piston has now been wasted. That's it, it's been wasted. Then the crankshaft, with its, uh, its inertia, um, then exerts a, um, like a feedback uh, force to the piston and then pushes the piston back up. So energy that's in... Um, momentum and inertia that is in the crankshaft uh, is now being used to force the piston back up but again the piston goes to the top of its stroke and has to stop so again that energy that's just been sucked out of the crankshaft that's gone into the piston to shift it has again been wasted so every single stroke when you accelerate a piston and then stop it and then pull it back down again and it's just this constant loss of energy now, the problem is, is we obviously want a continuous cycle of up and down, and to create a cycle we need um, a repeating reciprocation. So there's no way around that with an actual piston itself. Um, rotary engines work completely different, where they're a constant rotational um, lobe, although there are slight losses because it's oscillating, it's not going, just spinning, it's wobbling backward, you know, wobbling around as it does this. So there are some rotational losses. And there is obviously um, frictional losses and stuff which we'll get to, which are all called parasitic losses. Alright then, I hope that was clear, and I'll see you in a bit.